Shifting focus away from that, a huge fire ripped through a 25-story residential building in northeast China's Liaoning province. The inferno promptly climbed up the building, triggering a massive firefighter response. There are no reports of uh, casualties so far and the blaze is under control now. It's being said that the blaze rapidly spread to the top floor as the building's insulation caught fire. Firefighters rescued and evacuated people from the huge fire, over 200 of them. And 47 fire engines were dispatched to the scene in the attempt to curb the blaze. It took the emergency workers some three hours to put out the fire. Footage from the scene shows flaming insulation pieces falling off the tower and dropping onto the nearby lower buildings. Further investigation into the cause of the fire is underway. Meanwhile, smoke and haze from wildfires has blanketed Australia's largest city of Sydney and its surrounding areas again. The city's harbour and skyline were barely visible this after bushfires continued to burn in the Blue Mountains that brought the smoke to the metropolitan area of Sydney. There are about 120 fires still burning across the state of New South Wales, out of which 48 are still not contained. Sydney and the surrounding areas have been engulfed in smoke and haze for the past few weeks now. Meanwhile, a wildfire survivor dumped the charred remains of a destroyed home. Outside the country's parliament, people called on Australia's Prime Minister Scott Morrison to show leadership and take action on climate change. I, I lost my house. I lost my way of life. Um, my whole community has. Um, and while that was happening, the PM said that he didn't want us to talk about climate change, that this wasn't the time. And I was just shocked because for me, this was climate change. And I thought we really needed to have a discussion about that. And then the next thing that happened is when I'm looking for some leadership and I'm, and I'm looking for some actual action on climate, the PM says he's going to pray for us. And that was like the tipping point. It was like, well, this is just not good enough. You know, what we need is we need climate action and we need it now.